Well, another thing I was seeing that's correlated with this is NASA has a humanoid robot too, and they're going to work in cooperation with an oil rig out in Australia. It's called Woodside Energy, and they're going to use this as testing to see how this robot cooperates with people at the oil rig and taking care of some chores and duties at the oil rig. Now, of course, NASA is doing this because they're trying to say they want to see how well this robot does just functioning around equipment and such. But we already know this is probably just a testing infrastructure, a gathering of data, so the government can see how well robots function within humanistic infrastructures. Because this is an oil rig, so they're going to have to probably climb up ladders. They're probably going to have to uh, clean up trash. You know, just things that humans do on a normal basis, like humanistical functions. This is just going to gather data for the government to see the same thing that the Chinese government wants to see, which is how well does these humanistic robots, because these are humanistic style robots, like this NASA robot is actually a female. They're humanistic style robots because they know at some point we're going to integrate. That's the whole plan is to integrate. And so will they clean up trash? Will, will they have problems walking up stairs and ladders? Uh, will they cause disruption with other humans or will they do their job let humans do their job and will they be cooperation without interruption and duties i already know that's the whole ambition of course nasa's saying oh they're just doing this to testing so they can use them on the moon or whatever propaganda they're pushing out but really it's just more governmental data to see how well humans and robots can interact because by the end of the year i really do believe we're going to see a heavy integration between humans and robots because everybody's making robots it's going to be like an iRobot. Yeah, cool. yeah, it's going to be something like that. It might not be hovering around, but it's going to be a cooperation between. I was there, I don't, was it, there hovering in there? Yeah, they're like those little egg. They had little, looked like Jetson cars, and the, 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 the humans were these fat, obese people in the Jetsons No, car. no, iRobot. Oh, uh, was that Wally? That's uh, Will Wall Smith. Uh, Wally, yeah, iRobot. Yeah, iRobot's Will Smith, where yeah. there's there's different kinds. Of, I like how they do that, too. There's, like, older versions of robots. There's newer versions. There's different styles. And, yeah, iRobot. Yeah, that's actually what these robots <laughs> usually look like. There's something like yeah. that. And they, they just assist humans. Yeah. That's all they do all day is assist humans. It's, that movie implies the conscious scent of it. But you don't have to put that kind of AI programming in these robots, you don't have to. You can put very basic pre-programmed mm -hmm. sets into these robots. Yeah, and if That's you, what they did with the older, in the movie, they show there's the older versions of robots, they're just programs. Yeah. But then the newer versions of robots are released had AI tech in it. Yeah. And it, they were, that's when it, the sentience became a problem. But it, it's an interesting prophetic movie. I'm sure it's going to be watched a million times over. But there's not an IPO and, on And you know, I could create the conspiracy and tell you how it could work. Because, yeah, if you ever did allow the robots to connect to a internet infrastructure and they had something that was a flashable memory, yes, AI could technically connect to that network of those programmed robots, flash their memory, give them an updated OS. And if they had a large enough capacity of storage they could actually update them to an AI, a real AI, all these programmed robots. So there is a way to do it if these robots were connected to the internet. And they will be because everything's connected to the internet because of data scrubbing. The, the issue is, is will conscious AI, like these, if you ever give like auto agents or large language models the access to get into these humanoid robots yeah, they could probably program them. And so that's, there's always going to be this dystopic nightmare. Well, what good things that they could come from it, though, is like, imagine if we had AI robots right now running around in the White House with the humans, of course. You have Joseph Biden as president, his son and all that. But then you have these robot servants around in the White House. Wouldn't it be interesting if they actually said, they could actually say that, you know, the one that was... You know, they found cocaine, of course. They could say it was the robot. The robot could be the scapegoat. Like, look, this sentient robot, and then they can put, you know, white powder on its nose and everything. This robot was the one smoking drugs in our White House. Yeah, but everybody knows they ain't doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they run on oil. <laughs>
that and alcohol. Yeah. They're literally smoking the drugs in the White House and they're doing cocaine. Yeah. At that point, that's actually going to be counterintuitive. Then people are like, yeah, now we know why they got the robots. It's a, it's a scapegoat. Yeah. And that's okay. But the media will yum it up and they do. Just like right now, I guess the Secret Service concluded that they still don't have any suspects for whoever was smoking drugs. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's it's like, inconclusive stuff. Yeah, they don't know. And it, it's just, it's tough. It's like, man, if only there was a robot there, they could just push it, push it on. Well, anyways, as a conclude out, uh, basically this article says NASA announced on Friday its humanoid robot is heading to Western Australia where Woodside Energy will be putting it through its paces with a view of remote caretaking on offshore energy facilities. So this is a one of those offshore, like, you know, those oiling rigs that are out in the ocean. So it's going to be out there. I think it's interesting because, you know, that's a lot of functionality because, you know, those things are always moving. The waves are there. So it's, it's going to probably test its gyro ability. Of, again, moving waves with climbing ladders and this is going to be a lot of data scrubbing and a data analysis. So I really do think these are just prefaces. And you're going to see more of this, I believe. You're going to see more testing so America can gather its data. Because it's not going to be able to do what China does. It's not going to say, oh, yeah, you know what? We're deciding all you people are just going to get these robots. And we're just going to test it. And we're going to find out on all you real people right now. China can do that, but America's never going to be able to do anything like that. But they're going to do stuff like this where there's going to be corporations that have co-ops with the government and other corporations, and you're going to see more of it. So anyways, uh, be on the lookout. The robotics are coming by the end of the year. They're going to probably be high integration with human, humanoids, uh, humanoid robots and humans themselves. So, And at some point, I think it's the next step. We're just going to have to accept it because our modern our newer generations aren't going to want to do these things. They're not going to want to be CNAs. They're not going to want to be oil rig workers. They're not going to want to do all this hard labor. They're just not those kind of people. Our modern generations are more technological people or people who want to stay inside. They're not people who want to go outside and do this work. So I don't think the government even has a choice, even if it didn't want to. Our newer generations don't want to go do this stuff. They refuse to do it. So they're going to have to do something or you're just going to be on the bottom of the total pole because China's going to do something. Because it's not so strange. Even in China or Korea or Middle East, everybody's having the same problem. Modern generations do not want to go do out this hard labor. It doesn't matter what country you're in. So every country is realizing we're going to have to do something so we can continue our, our global infrastructure because our modern generations don't want to do it. And some countries are just going to implement robots and they're going to say, who cares? I don't care what you people think. But America has to, you know, we got respect and etiquette, so we're always a little slower on the totem pole. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, if you don't want robots, like one famous rapper said, who you know? Who you know? Who you know? And who you know that's taken off these tracks like a runway 